God. So, I just got done watching the next film in the Conjuring universe, Annabelle. I don't, I don't know what else to say, just, here's the fucking trailer. John, wake up. What is it? Next door, I, I heard a scream. Stay here, I'll go check it out. John? Is everything alright? Oh my god, they're covered in blood. Go back inside, it's not mine, it's not. Go back inside and call an ambulance right now. Go! You survived. You don't come out the other side of something like this weaker. What is there left to be scared of? This is the last of them. How did that get in there? I swear, I threw it out. Things must have got mixed up. There, she fits right in. is a ghost. Sometimes demons can attach themselves to objects. What do I do? Protect your family. So, Annabelle, um, yeah, th this movie sucks. I don't know any other word to say this. Um, so, I recently reviewed The Conjuring. Uh, this is the second episode in uh, my review series, uh, horror review series for Halloween, and I reviewed The Conjuring. Uh, Conjuring is one of the best modern horror films ever made. Just really well done, very suspenseful, pretty fucking creepy. That movie felt like... I don't know how to... I don't want to explain this best I can. That, that Conjuring felt like a passion of love from James Wan, right? That felt like a passion project. Annabelle just feels like a studio product. It doesn't feel like it has a lot of love into it. I mean, the director of this movie, John R. Leone, I don't, I don't want to mispronounce his name. Yeah, uh, this guy has worked on the movie Wish Upon and Butterfly Effect 2. They couldn't find anyone else better to direct this movie than him. Uh, and I get what the problem was like after this movie, but still, I mean, the guy hasn't made a good movie. From what I heard, this, from what I've seen, this guy hasn't made a good movie at all. So why did he give him the project? I don't know. Um, I guess we might as well just go over the pros and cons. I will start off with the pros, the very few of them. There is one to do, one to two. Decent scares this movie, which I will not spoil. Oh, that's it. Um, other positives, I guess the cinematography is okay, but this, the cinematographer, the director of cinematography on this movie just is copying James Wan so hard. It just feels like knockoff James Wan shot this movie. And that's about it. Um, now it's time to get to the cons. Uh, this is going to be fun. Um, okay, first off, the acting is horrible. Um, as you saw in the trailer... There's some bad acting in this movie. It just it feels like no one gave a shit during the making of this movie. No one cared. And that's a shame, especially coming from a unique and interesting story like you know, the Annabelle and the, the Annabelle doll. If you have never read the story behind the actual doll, it's a very interesting story. Please go out and check it out. It's a very interesting story. This movie doesn't at all go into detail on that. How Annabelle creation goes into better, better detail, which 
you know, that, that review's coming up soon. But, yeah, uh, fuck, um, the scares, none of the con is, uh, well, uh, the acting shit. Uh, and the main actress, I uh, played, uh, Maya, or Mia, whatever you pronounce her name, is played by, actually, I'm looking at on TV here, Annabelle Walls, I think her name is? I swear, I think they only picked her because her name is Annabelle. But she sucks. There's a scene, because, you know, in the movie, the husband, you know, she tells the husband, hey, throw that doll away, you know, it's giving me bad vibes. He throws it away, they move to a different place, she opens up a box, there's the Annabelle doll, and the husband gives more, the actor plays the husband, uh, Ward Horton, that's his name, he's the only decent actor in this movie, by the way, him and, um, what's his name, uh, Tony Armandula, I, I don't want to mispronounce his name, so I'll just call him Tony, play Father Pires, um, yeah, um, she opens up a box and finds Annabelle, and you're just expecting her to be like, oh my god, what the fuck, no, she's like, Starts playing with it, wiping it off. Keep in mind, she's not possessed at this point. She's not possessed. She's just... And her husband's like, oh my god, uh, how, how did I get here? And she's like, I don't know, it must have gotten mixed up. He threw it in the trash. How's it going to get mixed up? And then he's like, you know what, no, no, let me throw the doll away. And she's like, no, no, I'm, I'm going to keep it. And then puts it on the shelf in the baby's room. Even though she saw the thing, like, move in different places on its own several times. It, it makes no fucking sense. But speaking of no sense, um, yeah, the, um, the scares in this movie. <laughs> they ruin a lot of potential with Annabelle. Uh, there are scares in this movie that could have really big potential. I mean, there's a scene where you see the main demon just crawling on the staircase, right? And it stops. It looks at, it looks at, the, it looks at Mia. And it's just a big stare off, and that scene it builds up tension, builds it up, and you're thinking these are start slowly crawling because that's what James Wan would have done. He would have made him slowly crawl towards her with eerie music playing in the background, right? What did they do? Stairs, back, shot to Mia, shot to the demon, shot to Mia, shot to the demon, camera to Mia, camera to the demon, jump scare. And you know, I want to also include a clip here in a sec. Uh, I'll announce it when it's about to come up. They are very lazy with the scares, uh, especially the scene I'm going to show you. This scene could have been done way better, but it wasn't. It's just a loud jump scare with terrible music. Uh, just a very loud jump scare. And um, here is the, um, the clip right here. As you guys can see, just a very fucking lazy jump scare. Very lazy. Not even good. Like, it's just a loud boom with shitty music playing. At least with The Conjuring, yes, The Conjuring did have some jump scares, but it built up to those jump scares. It built them up. And I mean expertly well. This movie's like, boom, yeah, gotcha. Boom, got you again, fool. And with the ones with suspense, it's just, when it happens, it's such a big letdown. Like, you know, there is a jump scare in The Conjuring where, um, you know, she, one of the dollars is in the other daughter's room, and she opens the cupboard, and, you know, she sees nothing there, and then it cuts up, and for, like, four whole seconds, you see the ghost, and you have time to react to that jump scare. This movie's like, you jump? You did? Okay, well, did it again. It's lazy. It really is. 
Um, what else can I say that's bad about this movie? Um, the direction feels lazy and generic. Um, the soundtrack is god awful. Um, if you if you remember my Conjuring review, I put in the opening. I'll well, put the opening Warner Brothers logo and how good that music is. Well, I can't find the opening logo music for Annabelle, but let me tell you, it's much worse. Remember I told you how the Conjuring that music just set up how that movie was going to be. Well, that the music for this movie definitely set up what this movie was going to be. Just not good. Would I at all recommend? Annabelle. Hell no. This is a easy... You know what? I'm going to be generous because there is two good scares out there and there's some good acting in it. No, I, I can't excuse none of it. It's a one star. Annabelle's trash. It is complete garbage. If you have never ever seen Annabelle, do not watch it. It is... A waste of your time and a waste of money to even rent this movie. If you want to watch it, by all means do so. I'm not going to stop you. But this is not a good horror film at all. It's complete and utter garbage. And I would not recommend this movie to anybody who's a fan of horror. Especially if you watch the Conjuring movies and you've never seen the first Annabelle. Do not at all watch the first Annabelle. It's easily... It's not the worst. Trust me, we'll get to the worst soon. But it's... It's probably the third worst, no, no, I, yeah, the third worst uh, Conjuring film. I will say that. It's the third worst. It's not number one or number two. We'll get to those soon, but this is the third worst. Still pretty bad, so if you guys want to watch it, feel free, but this is just a one star for me. It's a fucking trash film. I would not recommend it to you guys. Anyway, that's my review for Annabelle. Uh, next review will be for The Conjuring 2, so I hope to see you guys there.